During the Uganda-Tanzania War of 1978-1979, Sanane Island was accidentally bombed during an air campaign. The island was named after Mzee Sanane Chawandi, a local fisherman and farmer. On 29th March 1979, Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi instructed one of his Tupelev 222 bombers to attack Mwanza. They wanted to intimidate Tanzania government into calling off its invasion of Uganda. However, the 222 completely missed the city and hit Sanane Island instead. A few meters across Mwanza City lies Sanane Island on Lake Victoria. In 1964, the Tanzanian government was interested in establishing a game sanctuary at the island. In order to do so, they had to go through Mze Sanane, since he still lived there with his family. The founding president, Mwalimu Julius Nyerere, bought the land at 600 Tanzanian shillings. Mze Sanane and his family were then resettled on another island. The government proceeded to bring in different animals into the park and it was opened to the public. Some of these animals did not survive the harsh conditions of the island. You see, the park is mostly rocky with a few green bushes here and there. Our tour guide informed us that giraffes had been brought to the park, but because there weren't enough acacia trees to sustain them, most of them died. Before Sanane Island was bombed, Tanzania troops had been heavily bombing Amin's troops. Then one day Nyerere receives an explicit threat from Colonel Muammar Gaddafi, which shocked the Tanzanian president, to say the least. It was delivered by the Libyan ambassador to Tanzania, and the demand was that Tanzanian troops leave Uganda within 24 hours. If this was not done, Libya would enter the war on Uganda's side. This was a shock to Nyerere because the information he had was that Libya had already entered the war and their soldiers were present in Lukaya, a few kilometers south of Kampala. Nyerere responded by going public with a threat. <laughs> He assured Tanzanians that neither Libyan threats nor actions could change Tanzanians' view of Idi Amin. Four days later, a Libyan 222 supersonic bomber took off from Nakasongola Air Base in Uganda on a mission to bomb the Tanzanian town of Mwanza. To avoid detection by the Tanzanian radar, it flew only a few hundred feet from the waters of Lake Victoria. As they approached Mwanza, they released the bombs too early, accidentally hitting Sanane Island instead. The only casualties were one worker who was slightly injured and six gazelles and several birds were killed. Amin's target was to hit Bugando Medical Center, as well as fuel storage tankers, which were located along Kenyatta Road at Igogo suburbs, hoping that the explosion of the tankers would further escalate the damages in the city. Tanzania's reply came two days later, when Russian-made jet fighters, the MiG-21, took off from Mwanza and bombed Kampala, Jinja, and Tororo. In Kampala, the bombs set oil depots ablaze. In Jinja, the Libya-Uganda Development Bank was hit. The direct hit on the Libyan bank led Ugandans to believe that Tanzania had special bombs that sought out specific targets on command. However, this was just a lucky hit by the Tanzanian MiG pilot. In the weeks that followed, Tanzanian troops advanced into Kampala and successfully removed Idi Amin from power. 